I'm Dr. Mimi Te, consultant from the Obstetric and Gynecology Department, University of Medicine 1, Yangon, Myanmar. I'm also working as the uh, working as a specialist, uh, for a fertility specialist in our fertility center, Central Women Hospital, Myanmar, which is the affiliated hospital of the University of Medicine 1. And I came here to that Mark Foundation uh, due to the uh, news given by one of my senior. She got also the embryologist training from the Milan Hospital and a cover of Mark Foundation last year for three months embryologist duration. So I got a contact with the um, Mark Foundation to get a, a training. But I, I came here only for the clinician three month course. In our center, we have only one government uh, fertility center and the one private fertility center. Uh, I'm a government employee and the pet our fertility center started two and a half years ago only. And so uh, on that center, we have all together five doctors are there, four for the clinical aspect and the only one is for the embryologist. She got a trainee, as I said previously, she got a trainee from the Milan Fertility Center last year and a cover of Mark. So all, all together, only five doctors are practicing at our center and uh, the fertility procedure that we provided uh, to our country is only uh, the IUI in dry dry insemination and the IVF procedure. But because of our limited facility and the limitation of the embryologist, uh, we can do only the patch IVF. So we didn't give the uh, fertility treatment to all our country, uh, all the people in our country um, simultaneously. So we did the batch IVF for two times last year. Uh, yes, in my opinion, mark fertility training to get the uh, mark more than the mother uh, fertility program is very important not only for me but also for our country. So we came here for the treatment clinician course and hoping that after returning from that, uh, I got uh, the efficient treatment and the efficient uh, proper treatment to our country. Overall objective is to, uh, after return back from the, the trainee, to be an expert clinician and we can treat the people properly to, to get a better results of our fertility center and better care for the infertile couple. Uh, as you all know that uh, infertility is an also important problem in Myanmar and the infertile people not affecting only their physical health but also their mental well-being and the social status of their childless life. So for that infertile couple, some of the infertile couples are so depressed because uh, they get the limitation and the, the limitation from their relatives, from their family and their uh, social environments. So uh, some, are, uh, some got the depression due to that causes. So I'm very uh, unpleasant to feel like that and when I see the infertile couple. So I'm very willingly to help them and to hopeful their uh, parenthood in future. Awareness of the fertility in our country depend upon the level of the knowledge and their uh, acceptance of their religious belief. In Myanmar, regarding with the male infertility, some of the religious uh, believe that uh, the infertile couple may be due to the causes only due to the female partner only. But uh, most of our people uh, didn't believe like that and they, they accept the both male and the female factors contribute uh, to them to infertile and they didn't get any child. In, the, in here, uh, I got the three months clinician course and a caravan of Mark Foundation at the IIRRH. Uh, for this training, it, has, uh, it involved in the two parts. And the first part is the theoretical background, like the physiology, anatomy of the uh, male and female reproductive tract, and the theoretical background of the assisted reproductive, uh, uh, assisted reproductive technique, like that. They explain and cover all these in, in their first part. And the, for the second part, we are now at the clinical practical staging. 
So on the clinical breast staging, we have learned about the how to tackle the infantile couple and the how to do the basic monitoring by doing the ultrasound examination and the OBD uh, procedure and the procedure like the operation theatre, uh, like the OPU, USAI PKM procedure. Not only this procedure, we have covered all the procedure like the endoscopy in the operation theatre and the feed and medicine also. So I'm thinking, I'm sure that that uh, training program is a perfect program to cover not only the theory but also the clinical background and after finishing of that course uh, I will become an expert fertility specialist to cover all these and uh, must fulfill the wish of our infantile couple in our country in future so I would like to advice for the new aspirants uh, coming to here to join the RRIRRH. First, they should learn the basic ultrasound training about the how to uh, do the ultrasound machine and the how to measure these trainings and also run through about the basic uh, assistive reproductive technique. So, and, uh, based upon this underlying knowledge and the uh, edit with the expert clinician course in here, they can get a platform for to be a higher specialist, to be a fertility specialist and to cover and to support to their country. I'm very glad to, to mark more than a mother program for this training for the doctors, especially in the Asia and the Africa to get the training. After getting of this training, we can provide the health system and the support to our uh, people in our country to get the higher level and the efficient support. And also want to say to thanks to the IIRRH to be a perfect training center collaborated with Mark Foundation and thank you so much.